In this video, we are going to learn about the mean absolute deviation. The mean absolute deviation is the average of the deviations from the mean for a list of data. The mean absolute deviation is sometimes referred to as MAD for mean absolute deviation. The mean absolute deviation gives the average distance the data is from the mean. So let me explain it this way. We just had a test. Let's say on that test, the average score was an 82. The mean absolute deviation would tell me, on average, how far away each one of your scores on the test was from the mean. So for example, if someone got an 84, their test was two away from the mean. If someone got a 70, their average was 12 away from the mean. If somebody got a 100, then their average was 18 away from the mean. And I would get all of those data points and I would add them together and divide by how many I had and that would give me my mean absolute deviation. Now there is a formula for mean absolute deviation but Desmos can go ahead and calculate that for us. And so I'm going to show you how to do that today. Excuse me, how to do that today. So on example one, it says find the mean absolute deviation of 12, 10, 14, 4, and 5. So I'm going to go over to Desmos and I'm going to type in my list. So I'm going to have A equals, and those numbers were, let's see, 12, 10, 14, 4, and 5. So that is my list of my five numbers. And then for mean absolute deviation, we are going to type in MAD, and we're going to find the mean absolute deviation of list A. And we get 3.6. So the mean absolute deviation is 3.6. So again, that means that these numbers on average are 3.6 units away from the average of these numbers. Let's look at example two. On example two, it says find the requested statistics of 12, 15, 10, 20, 13, and eight. Well, the first thing that I notice is that they want me to find my min, Q1, my median, Q3, and the max. Remember that those numbers are your five number summary. So I'm going to use the stats feature in um, Desmos to be able to find those five numbers there. So I'm going to go A equals, and I'm going to do my list. And again, those numbers were 12, 15, 10, 20, 13, and 8. So here I have six numbers, and we want that five number summary. So to find that, I'm just going to do stats of list A. And I get 8 for my minimum. Whoops. Go 8. Q1 is 10, our median is 12.5, Q3 is 15, and our max is 20. Your range, remember, is your maximum value minus your minimum value. So here, my maximum value is 20 minus my minimum value of 8. 20 minus 8 is 12. Your IQR is your inner quartile range. That's Q3 minus Q1. So in this example, that's going to be 15 minus 10, which is 5. X bar is your mean. So here we want to find our average. So I'm just going to go back over to Desmos and type in mean of, whoops, get rid of the absolute value symbol. So mean of list A, and I get 13. 
Your mode is a number that occurs the most. 12, 15, 10, 20, 13, and 8. None of these numbers repeat, so I do not have any mode. So we have no mode. For our outliers, you could use your formula, or you could come over here to Desmos and you could create a box plot of this data. So if I do box plot of list A, and I'm just gonna make sure here, I'm all zoomed in. There are no open circles, so there are no outliers here. So we do not have any outliers. And then last but not least, they want the mean absolute deviation. So I'm gonna find the mad of list A, and we get three.